What's going on, golf addicts? Welcome to DraftKings Sportsbooks Tour Junkies After Dark. It's PGA Championship 2022 week from Southern Hills in Tulsa, Oklahoma. If you want to know all about the golf course, everything you need to know about what it's going to take to play well, uh, DraftKings, Pat Mayo obviously has a ton of content out. We also have a video out on our YouTube channel you can watch. It's under 20 minutes, and it's everything you need to know about how this golf course is going to play, key stats, uh, quotes from Gil Hance, who did a bunch of renovations in 2018 as well. Uh, and how it's going to play. But it's going to be great. It's going to be a great major championship week. It's going to play, play tough. Uh, the winds in Tulsa, Oklahoma are looking to get stirred up. Uh, and this is this could be a blood bla- a blood bath for sure. We could see some, uh, some high scoring here. Par is going to be your friend. This is going to be a grind, grind it out kind of golf tournament. Uh, and we're talking outright winners. We just recorded our own show on Tour Junkies channel. Go ahead and click the thumbs up button here on DraftKings channel if you don't mind. Subscribe to the to the uh, to the DraftKings channel as well. And let's get into the betting board. Uh, we're talking outrights only tonight. Pat, looking at the top of the board, um, I, I know there's a couple names in here that we've talked about on our own shows in terms of agreement. But uh, who are some names up here that you you think people should jump on early? And, and get going and get locked up before the number gets shorter for the PGA Championship? Well, I think the first name that we could look at here is, is Jordan Spieth here at 20-1. to 1. I mean, um, you know, coming off of a great finish at the Bauer Nelson just this past week, uh, won his previous start, which was the RBC Heritage. So he is, you know, despite that miscut at the Masters where I know he threw a lot of people off, um, that 20 to 1 number, I think, could end up getting a little bit shorter. I could at least see it going to like 18 to 1, maybe even 16 to 1, uh, because they, there's really a gap here between he and JT, who's at 14 to 1. So I like Jordan Spieth at 20 to 1. I think that's a good number still for him. I will take that. And then also, you know, I don't, I'm not hearing a lot of Patrick Cantlay talk at 22 to 1. I like him as well. I think that's another good number, a guy that can play. Uh, good on this course, um, a great scrambler, is playing well recently. So I like Patrick Cantlay also at 22 to 1. Yeah, I don't hear a lot of people talking about Cantlay either early. Uh, you know, we're recording this on a Sunday night. We got everything out a little early this week. We normally go on Monday nights. Not hearing a lot about Cantlay. Obviously, he's a killer. I love the Jordan Spieth play. I'm a big Cam Smith fan this week. I believe Cameron Smith can. Uh, you know, can definitely close the door on the major. We saw him win the players championship. Um, and that's, you know, one of the toughest fields in golf and plays like a major for sure. He's at 22 to one on DraftKings, And that's one of the best numbers I can find for Cam Smith. Great, great iron player, great around the greens, definitely a grinder, incredible putter. So when it's late on Sunday and you got to make an eight footer to save par, you know, there's not many I trust more than Jordan Spieth and Cam Smith. So uh, I love that up top. Moving down a little bit, Kind of in this mid range, uh, I, I like Joaquin Neiman a lot at forty five to one. I thought he was going to, you know, make a run for winning the Byron Nelson on Sunday, but he shot two over when everybody else kept kept going. It was really one bad day, uh, but he, he was in the hunt. He was one shot off the lead going into round four. Joaquin Neiman hits that bullet low drive, you know, that runs out to like three forty when he catches it. Great approach player and really underrated scrambler. And the kid's won now twice on the PGA Tour. He's like 24 years old, but he just won the Genesis, which is a tough field, strong field, invitational field, Tiger Woods event in L.A. Uh, that that that's no, you know, that that's a tall task, and and I think he can get it done in a major championship. And 45 to one is one of the better numbers I've seen for uh, for Joaquin Neiman. I also like uh, I like Cam Young at 70 to one. He's a young guy. He's a rookie on the PGA Tour. We've seen strange winners at PGA Championships before. I mean, hell, we, we had Phil Mickelson win at 50-something or whatever he was. For, I don't know. Last year. Um, and he's obviously now dropped off the face of the earth, but uh, we had Y.E. Yang beat Tiger Woods at the PGA Championship. Keegan Bradley's won a PGA Championship. So Cameron Young, this kid is super impressive. Great off the tee, great iron player, and his, his around the green play has been very good since he got out on the PGA Tour as well. Comfortable on bent grass. Uh, grew up in the Northeast putting on this on bent grass surfaces. I, he's a, you know, a grinder, can, can, uh, uh, you know, can survive in tough conditions. He's, he's seemingly proved that as well. So I like Cam Young a lot at 70 to 1. That's kind of the mid-range for me. Well, I got a few guys here that I like. Um, one is Hideki Matsuyama at forty to one. 
you know, another guy that I think this course fits well. Um, I think he could really make a lot of comparisons, especially around the greens and on the greens with Augusta National. We know Hideki plays well there, um, played well there this year with a top 15 finish uh, coming off the win last year at the Masters. So 40 to 1 feels just really good for Hideki. And he played well this week at the Byron Nelson. So I like 40 to 1 for him. And then moving up a little bit, I think Sam Burns at 65 to 1 makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, Sam is a is a guy that's just an incredible golfer. He won this this year on a difficult course at the Valspar. So I like Sam Burns also. Um actually, and I skipped Billy Horschel. Billy Horschel's 50 to 1. Another guy that I think um sets up well for this course, a grinder, just doesn't really get too up or down. Um, and, and that's what you need to do to play well at Southern Hills this week, especially with the fact that we're probably going to get a little bit of weather, uh, at least with some wind. So I like Billy Horschel also in that mid range at 50 to one. Um, all right, let's talk, let's talk long shots. I don't have a few, I only have a few here. And I mean, you know, for a long shot to win the PGA championship, um, you know, a major championship with a strong field and tough conditions. It's probably a reach, but there are a few in here that the numbers are just too good to pass up. Uh, I think we both agree on this first one, and that's Alex Noren. He's a he's at yeah. one thirty to one on DraftKings. Noren's been playing really well this whole season. Uh, proven player in difficult conditions for sure. Um, checks a lot of boxes. Approach around the green plays solid bogey avoidance he's good at he's coming in hot with the putter he's uh he's always been a good sand player um you know he's, he's coming off a 12th at the byron nelson a 12th at the valspar a couple weeks ago fifth at the honda that was a tough track um sixth at the waste management he just had a really solid year so i think alex norin is definitely in play uh, finished 19th at the pga in 2020 uh, so, you know, decent finish at the at the PGA a couple years ago, finished 17th that same year at the U.S. Open. Uh, so he can contend in majors. I think Alex, uh, I think Alex Noren is a guy to watch. The next one for me is is purely kind of a gut play, and it's Keith Mitchell at 150 to one. Uh, you know, Keith's a PGA Tour winner. He's a long hitter. He's a good ball striker. When he's on, he's on. And, and, and he's just got the type of swagger and the mentality that I think late on a Sunday for a long shot can get it done. I think that's the question you got to ask yourself with these longer bets, you know, these longer numbers. Can these, can this guy late on a Sunday fend off Jordan Spieth and Scotty Scheffler and John Rahm and Colin Morikawa, you know, all surging up the leaderboard on Sunday. Can this person keep it together and fend those guys off? And I think Keith Mitchell is a, is the type of guy that can, um, the, the stats aren't all great right now. That's why he's 150 to one. But if it clicks for him in a given week, I think he could be he could be up there. And if he's up, you know, if he's got a chance to win, I think he I believe he can close the door. But that's it for me. All right. Well, a couple more for me. Um, I like Norin. I'm with you there. Um, right next to Norin, though, there's actually a few guys here in this 130 to one range that I think are in play. I think Jason Kokrak's in play. Um, you know, Perry Maxwell is the designer of this course. Now, I know they, they've changed some things up, but um, he also designed Colonial, which is where Jason Kokorak just won last year. So I like that for him, and he's been playing well recently. I mean, had a, uh, I believe, a top 20 at the Masters, um, has been playing well lately. So Jason Kokrak at the 130 to 1, I think, is a good number for him. Um, if I'm moving up a little bit, though, in, in the more longer shot range, I like Keith Mitchell, but I also like Sepp Straka right there next to him at 150 to one as well. He's been playing well this year, one at the Honda Classic, another very difficult course in a very good field. So I like Sepp Straka also at, at 150 to one. If I'm going a little bit longer though, I could even go to a little bit of Anurban Lahiri at 200 to one. Yes, DB, Anurban Lahiri has been playing extremely well this year. Maybe a little flyer. Maybe just go top five with him, though. Maybe don't even go go t for the win. Maybe go top five and get him at like I don't know, fifteen to one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I could. I don't think I could see Honor Bond winning. That that would be quite the reach. But um, yeah, that's that's a long shot for sure. So thirty five to one, top five. Almost won the the Players Championship, which is arguably as tough. You know, it's a better feel. I don't think it's as tough a course 
especially this week, but better field or as good a field, maybe. All right, that's it for us. That's DraftKings and Tour Junkies After Dark presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's have a great week. There's a ton, ton of content coming out here on the DraftKings YouTube channel this week for the PJ Championship, as well as on our channel over on Tour Junkies YouTube. Check that out. And uh, let's have a great week. May your screens be green. See you. Out!